Good evening, welcome back. So this evening, we're gonna be talking about colors on these two guitars here. This is going to be your last chance to make a suggestion. The next video you see, the other Lay's amplifier will be done. Uh, my dad will be here, and we're gonna go over the suggestions of what you guys have suggested of so far with the colors that we're gonna do these guitars in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go over what you guys have suggested so far. And then, like I said, this is your last chance to get a suggestion in on the colors to paint the guitars. Um, this one is the viewer's build, so if you guys are subscribed to the channel, uh, you don't have to be subscribed, but I'd prefer you be subscribed. Make a suggestion of the color of this guitar, and we are building this to what you guys say. So whether if it's the third pickup, the color, the hardware, everything about this guitar is going to be built to your guys' specifications. With the one exception is I do want to leave this maple neck raw like my Zach Wild guitar was. I sold it, I no longer have the second one here. So if you guys are familiar with Zach Wild guitars, they have a blonde maple neck with the stinger on the back. Uh, the stinger, it's gonna be up to you guys whether if it's body color matched or if it's gonna be black. But uh, let's go ahead and go over the suggestions you guys have so far on this tobacco burst. And please forgive me if I screw up one of your names, but we wrote down the name of each person that gave a suggestion so far. So this is the 2019 Gibson Les Paul Tribute tobacco burst that has the maple cap mahogany back body and the maple neck so the uh, first suggestion we got here is faded tobacco burst and that comes from dave sims so basically this is a tobacco burst and what he is saying by faded tobacco burst i'm not quite clear on maybe he's talking about not having the black around the bottom or something I don't know I'll have to do a little bit of research on Google and type in faded tobacco burst Gibson Les Paul and see what I get uh, as far as pictures and, and whatnot but uh, if you want to make a comment again Dave uh, tell me what you're talking about with a faded tobacco burst because this is a tobacco burst and I'm not really sure what a faded one is so uh, second suggestion was stinger on the back of the headstock and the back plates to be the same color. And that is from Sarah Seven Sevnik. Um, I think he's from another country, I'm not sure, but uh, I hope I'm not screwing that name up. It's S-E-R-H-A-T, S-E-V-I-N-C. Sarah Sevnik, Sevnik. Um, I'm sorry if I'm screwing your name up, but I just wanted to make sure all of you guys got your credit for your suggestions. So he's saying whatever color we paint this to have the stinger in the back plates the same color. Uh, the third suggestion was a blue gray fade and that is coming from Ben Massey. So again, not sure what he means by blue gray fade, whether if it's gray in the middle with blue around it like this or if it starts off blue and fades into gray. Again, uh, if you had a specific way of fading that, put it in the comments and let me know what you meant by the blue-gray fade. But we know Ben Massey suggested a blue-gray combination on it. Uh, number four, we got uh, Candy Apple Red, and that is from Nick, N-I-C. So Candy Apple Red. I've had a couple red guitars. I had a... 28 scale uh, Gibson Les Paul Studio that was uh, called Tequila Sunrise. And it wasn't candy apple red, like a bright fire engine red, but it was more into the burgundy area of it. It was a very beautiful guitar. I absolutely regret getting rid of that guitar. Uh, I haven't been able to find another one since. Uh, I did, actually, I take that back. I did find a silver one uh on reverb but it was way too whooped and way too much money 
for me to want to purchase it. But uh, I really regret getting rid of that 28 scale studio. That was a very unique guitar. Uh, so he has, Nick has Candy Apple Red. Uh, suggestion number five, another red. So red or a reverse silver burst. So meaning it would be silver with the black in the middle. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, however, we are doing a silver burst project. When I go down to Lay's to drop these off in that amplifier, we will be picking up, hopefully, because uh, it's been about a year and a half or more now that that silver burst has been down there. I took a brand new silver burst, and we'll go over that later, but we took it down there for some finish work and stuff. So we do have a silver burst, but he says a reverse silver burst, which that might be kind of cool to have a real silver burst and then a reverse silver burst. So that is suggestion number five. Uh, suggestion number six is an aged Palem blue with the gold hardware, and that is from FRC. So yes, I've been talking about doing one with gold hardware. It's been a long time since I had a Les Paul uh, with gold hardware. I do have the BB King with gold hardware, but I, to be honest with you, can't remember if I've had a Les Paul with gold hardware. And that was one of the reasons I was thinking, well, maybe I should do one with gold hardware. So he did suggest the pale and blue, aged pale and blue with gold hardware. Uh, number seven, we've got a hot pink with a green burst. And that is from Argus. So Argus, if you're watching, let me know what you meant by hot pink with a green burst. So are you thinking like pink in the middle with a, a green coming in? Is it going to be like a, a loud in your face, you know, like a fluorescent or is it like a pastel or is it just really vibrant, nice high gloss green and, and pink or whatever, pink in the middle, green, because he says pink with green burst. And that's from Argus. So hot pink with a green burst. That is suggestion number seven. Suggestion number eight, we have Royal Electric Blue. And that's from Tony Roberts. So when I think of Royal Blue, I'm thinking dark. So I had a 56 Les Paul with the P90s in it. And it was Chicago Blue. And it was kind of semi-transparent. It was pretty solid color, but you could still see the wood grain in it when you were looking at it really close. But from a distance, it looked like it was a, a solid blue and it was very dark and that looked really good. So uh, I do look kind of like that suggestion there too. So Royal Electric Blue, and that's from Tony Roberts. Now when it says electric blue, again, Tony, if you're watching, clarify electric. Is that uh, kind of, does it have any sparkle in it? Is it, is it uh, metallic? Because electric, I'm trying to think what an electric blue would look like. But uh, yeah, so Tony Roberts says Royal Electric Blue. Uh, suggestion number nine, we have a blueberry burst. And that is from Michael Costa. So I've seen a lot of different configurations of, of that. Uh, the blueberry burst was a pretty hot color there for a while. And they faded them in all different directions around it from top to bottom, bottom to top. I mean, they did a lot of different blueberry bursts. Uh, so that is from Michael Costa, blueberry burst. Suggestion 10, anything blue. And that is from AFVET91. And I think that stands for Air Force Vet 91. So if you're watching, let me know if I'm correct on your username and maybe be a little more specific on blue because there's a lot of blues out there and we do have quite a few suggestions of blue. So if you would help me narrow down what blue, we might be able to add that to somebody else's suggestion there. So uh, I think it's uh, Air Force Vet 91 says anything blue, that's suggestion number 10. Suggestion number 11, I, I really liked this one because uh, I've seen some guitars that are done like this and he's got a light light pink almost white with matching stinger on the back so if it was a light light pink with a matching stinger obviously it would have to have a light back or since this one has got the mahogany back and the maple neck maybe the whole thing the front and the back would be the light light pink maple cap showing 
blonde neck with the light, light pink stinger. But he says a light, light pink stinger or a light, light pink, almost white with matching stinger and a third pickup with cream plastics. So pickup rings, pick guard, that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe the back plates. I actually did that. If you guys go back to my previous videos, when I built the Stratosphere uh, 70s Deluxe, it was a Cherry Burst Deluxe, and I did the cream back plates on it, all the cream hardware with the uh, mini humbuckers in it, and that turned out really nice. Um, so yeah, we got uh, one third pickup suggestion there. Let's uh, see, we are on number 12, and this is just a pickup uh, suggestion here and pickups fishman fluence with a battery pack and that is from Kiyen and I can't pronounce his last name but it is H-A-R-C-H-E-G-A-N-I so Kiyen he suggests the fishman fluence pickups now we do have a Lay's Loft build here with Fishman Fluences in it. So the pickups that he is talking about are these ones right here. And these are the Fishman Fluence and they are active uh, like a EMG 8185. And they have a charging battery pack in the back of it. So again, this is a Lay's guitar build here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hang that right here for now because when we get to the gold one, we'll be using that one for some examples too. All right, so that was suggestion 12 and that was just pickups. Uh, 13, we got Fender Delphi Blue and that's from J.J. Dillon. I did have a uh, Fender Stratocaster in Delphi Blue and I'm trying to think of the artist now that, now that I'm thinking of or trying to think of it, I can't think of it, but I had a special artist and it came in a special case and it was backed by him and I can't think of it right now. Maybe in another video, the next one when we go over these, I'll be able to remember that and I'll be able to tell you, but I did have a Delphi Blue Fender Stratocaster and it was gorgeous. So I do like that Delphi Blue because like the light, light pink, it's it's kind of like uh, pale and blue that's been toned way down and diluted with white where it's it's really light and it does it it's a really nice color so kudos on the fender delphi blue i do like that um and again that was from jj dillon so suggestion 14 uh a light back and sides and that is also from jj dillon so he does like having the light back and the sides on it and not completely painted. So two suggestions from J.J. Dillon there. And then 15, uh, like that badass boat. And that's from Kevin Donahue. So if you guys have seen my videos in my playlist, I have a boat playlist. And uh, my friends and I, my wife and I, we have friends that have cigarette boats, outer limits boats. We have a go fast boat just like it. Um, what you guys are seeing in that in those videos is actually a really good friend of mine. Tom's is Outer Limits, and my wife and I helped him put in the new engines, all that, and we were out testing it. And one of the videos we hit 132. Uh, we're hoping to hit 150 next summer when he changes the clevises, and hopefully next summer we'll have our three engines built and back in our boat as well. We have a 42 foot go fast, so uh, keep your eye out for those videos. Uh, not to get off track here, but the last suggestion there was the boat, and it kind of got me into the the boat uh, thought there. So anyways, those weren't all the comments on this, but these were so far all the suggestions on colors and, and hardware and pickups and stuff like that. So this weekend, I think it's today's Tuesday. So this weekend, I will be finishing up the other Lay's Loft uh, cabinet and uh, we'll be getting all this stuff down there next week. So you guys are limited on days to make suggestions to add to this. So moving on now from this one, well, maybe not. I've been thinking of a few things too, and the third pickup, I've been thinking about doing that. So that's a real good suggestion there because 
I've been debating on whether or not to do that because again, the silver burst, I took a 2018 silver burst, brand spank a new one, took it down to the loft. We routed in a third pickup and we're having a bunch of different finish work done to it. Uh, so I'm not sure about that. Because I was kind of thinking a third pickup in this one too. And I don't want to have three of them with three pickups. So again, suggestions. This is your guys' build. So if you say third pickup, it's going to get a third pickup. Uh, so far, I think we have one or two suggestions for the, the third pickup in this. Um, as far as the stinger goes, I'm video, v, vetoing that. And it will have a stinger, but you guys are picking the color. So if it's going to be black or the same color as the guitar... And of course, we are going to do everything headstock. Uh, on this one, from the stinger to here, will be a satin finish, but the rest of it will be in high gloss clear. These won't be satin anymore. Um, so again, this is your guys' build. We're going to do it the way you want. We're just going to try to narrow down the colors, and uh, Dad and I will talk about it right before we go, and we'll decide which color and when we're talking about it maybe we won't reveal what color we picked i don't know i'll get with dad and we'll figure that out but again you guys are picking the colors on this how many pickups all that kind of stuff the hardware and as i get things for it i'll set it out and then you guys can tell me what you want out of what i have to put in it so moving on to the gold top uh, this is my fourth 2017 les paul tribute gold top uh, and this one it's in really good condition i mean obviously you can see the dust on it and stuff i started taking it apart but this would clean up really nice and i could just leave it as it is but um, like i said i've had four of these and the last three i really wanted to do something with them but they were so nice i did not want to uh, dick with them so this one we are definitely going to keep it gold because I love gold tops. Uh, we got like three or four of them still in our collection. And I had I had five of them at one time, but I just love gold tops. So since this already came gold, we're gonna stay gold. The only thing that I don't know, and this is what I want you guys to help me pick out. So down here, my suggestions for this is all gold with the maple cap showing and the black stinger completely finished and high gloss clear. So meaning the full neck, the back of the body, and the front of the guitar being all gold, but still having the maple cap show and then in a high gloss finish with a black stinger on the back. Okay, so that is my first thought. My second one would be the gold top with the maple cap showing with the light back like it is and with the stinger matching the gold top or black still. It could be black or gold at that point because not having it all gold, the gold would show up back here. So if we go light back, we could do a gold stinger to match the front or we could do the black stinger which would match the headstock. And again, um, all high gloss headstock, everything all high gloss on that. And then the uh, third question slash suggestion is, do we do a third pickup in this? And do we do an aged finish? So like these pickups here, you can see they have some aging on them already. And also I want to talk about these pickups. I can't really pronounce the name of it. Uh, I'm not going to look for it right now. But one of the one of you viewers had told me what kind of pickups those were. Because if you watch the video where I started to take this apart, um, these are supposed to have a PCB board in it. And the previous owner put in the 500K Burns pots with the Russian caps, all the vintage pushback wiring. And when I pulled the pickups out, I was actually quite disappointed that they weren't Gibson pickups because I wanted to cut the plugs off of the 490R-490Ts and use them in this or something else. Uh, so I'm kind of bummed out I didn't get the Gibson pickups with this. But the viewer that told me what these were said they're like tacky or tacky or I, I can't pronounce it. I, 
I know what he's talking about. It's called a Love Rock uh, Les Paul. They're made in Japan. I've seen them. I've just never gave them a second thought or a second look, so let alone learning how to pronounce it. But uh, that's what these are. These are made in Japan, PAF style humbuckers, and he said they're actually really good. And they do have the vintage uh, wiring on them. They're not the plastic four wire. So I'm not against using these, but maybe I'll use them in something else because um, I want to keep this true to Gibson and I'm going to put Gibson pickups back in it. If I don't, um, I will be putting the antiquities in there. So I think this one is the neck. Yeah, this is the neck. So I got to I gotta hunt down uh, a bridge pickup, but... These are their, their high-end ones, and they come aged already. So the pickup ring's already scratched up and aged, and it comes with the screws. And they actually, th these are really nice pickups. I used a lot of antiquities, and I have a set of uh, aged P90s up there too that I want to use in something. But they come with the little uh, destruction manual on how to put it together. And really nice antiquity sticker but what's really impressive well they got the little tag here and this little fancy uh, burlap bag that they come in but what's real impressive is the quality of these pickups so this is a brand spanking new uh, antiquity and it's been aged and it does have the vintage pushback wire on it and stuff and uh, it has been signed by the pickup builder. Uh, just really super nice, nice, nice pickups. Uh, this is what it looked like with the, uh, the black ring on it. So uh, if I use something that is not Gibson, in a Gibson, it's going to definitely be high end. So it will be like this antiquity. There's a couple other pickups out there. Um, I can't think of the names right offhand. Again, like I said, normally what I use is Gibson pickups or an antiquity. So if I do use something in either one of these guitars that is not OEM Gibson pickup, I will definitely be probably using the antiquities. Uh, unless you guys like this is your build. So if it's Fishman, we'll put Fishman in it. So this one here, I'm definitely going to try to stay uh, all Gibson. But again, I'm not against using the antiquities and if i do use the antiquities i'm going to probably go with the aged finish and i'm not talking like on the silver burst you guys will see i had them put buckle rash on it and chips and dings and i, I relic to that one if i do this one aged that's all i want it's a, i just want it aged to to look older maybe we'll put a vintage clear on it have them finish check it and stop there you know what I mean? Just keep it real nice. So, uh, like Buckethead. Buckethead looks really good. The paint is starting to age a little bit and get its color, and it's starting to get some finish checks in it, but it's not beat down. You know what I mean? It don't have buckle rash and chips and dings in it like the Silver Burst is going to have. So that's a full relic. I'm talking just aging, like uh, like these pickups. They show... They show age on them. So let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, do we do it all gold with the black stinger? Or do we just do the gold cap with a black stinger or a gold stinger and keep the light back on it? Um, again, just let me know what you guys think. Should I put a third pickup in it? I don't know. I've already got a suggestion here on your guys' build for a third pickup. So... Maybe I'll leave this one just as it is. Put the third pickup in your guys's. I don't know. Again, that's why I'm doing this video because this is your last chance to get in your suggestions of what we're going to do with these guitars before we go down to Lay's Loft. Uh, we're going to do one more video. I still got to get these pickups out of here. Uh, I got to dis desolder the pickup wires and pull these pots and pickups out and get it ready to go down so it's pretty bare bones like this one so once i get some more suggestions in by or if not either way come this weekend when i get the other amplifier cabinet done uh 
if there's no more suggestions, Dad and I are gonna sit down and talk about what we already have on the board. If there is more suggestions, I will erase my gold top suggestions and add your guys's because the most important thing here really is your guys's build. So uh, think over on this one. Do we do all gold or do we do the gold top light back just with the stinger? I kind of kind of liking that idea, um, but look at this. So picture these two guitars, okay? So if this was gold, that's what this would look like, painted all gold. And this one's a copper. My dad hates it when I say that this is Corvette orange. And it kind of looks like Corvette orange, but it is a copper color. But anyways, basically this guitar, if it was all gold, would look just like this one, but with a black stinger on the back of the headstock. So let me know what you guys think. Do we do, we do it all gold? Or do we just do a gold top with the light back and a black stinger? And again, both of these guitars, your build and this one will be finished in all high glass clear, no more satin. Uh, we want them, like when, when this gold is done, I want it to look like these golds. So we have a couple here. Now my 50s, it has more of a dark back on it, even though it's not real dark, um, it is a lot darker, like compared to this classic here. This has got a, a lighter back. And I think this one is more comparable to this one here as far as the color. So basically this one here would look like this only with a stinger. It'd have the high gloss clear on it and it would just have the natural light back on it. So let me know what you guys think there because I'm having a hard time with it. I'm really thinking my personal opinion is the light back with the black stinger and the gold top with high gloss clear. So it basically looked just like this guitar here with a stinger on it. You know, it'd have the high gloss headstock and you know neck, everything. Uh, I'm thinking that's the way that I would like to do it, but I'm not against doing it all gold because I haven't had a guitar yet other than the red uh, 28 scale studio that was fully painted. Well, I take that back. I've got the, uh, the bucket head there, but most of all the guitars that I've ever had, they've had a color on the back of them. Even the uh, Chicago blue one, uh, even though it was blue on the back, it was a full transparent blue. So it wasn't like painted. Um, anyways, I'm just kind of rambling on now because I've got so many thoughts going through my head, but let me know what you guys think. If you got more suggestions on what color uh, you guys want on your build, get them in now because this weekend it's going to be over. We're going to talk about what we have and we're going to pick a color and they're going to go off for finishing. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. They're coming. Hopefully we get down to uh, the factory at the Lays Loft. They have one down in North Canton, Ohio. Uh, I've been itching to get down there. And uh, again, oop, there goes the magnet. We're going to be taking the two amplifier cabinets down to the loft and they are going to be hand wiring, point to point wiring, no PCB boards in these amplifiers. They're going to be all tube with a single 12 and they're going to just be awesome. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget, we have more amplifier projects that I'm doing as well. So stay tuned for those. And again, thank you guys for watching and thank you for your suggestions.